Hey everybody, I learned something awesome in a training yesterday that cost me four grand, by the way, and now I wanna share this tip with you. So if you wanna know how to communicate, how to listen and speak more clearly to your partner, then stay tuned. First, I'm gonna run the show reel. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> okay. We can all agree that communication can be one of the biggest problems in relationships, right? I mean, I've talked about it on this channel. Everybody talks about it on their channel. I'm told to talk less or talk more clearly or listen more or pay more attention. Heck, I've even said it on this channel and all of those things are still valid and true. But what if our communication styles are completely different? So let me give you an example. Have you ever said something out loud and people haven't done what you thought they were going to do after what you said? So for example, let's say I say, hey, I'm thirsty. What are you gonna do with that information? Some people, they'll say, hey, cool, do you want something to drink? Or they'll get up and they'll get me something to drink. So this is interesting, right? Other people will be like, cool, me too. So this comes down to whether you are inferential when you speak and when you listen, or whether you're logical when you speak and when you listen. So it's not only about how much we communicate, but it's about how we communicate. So for example, me personally, I am a logical listener and I am a logical speaker. So when I ask for something, I'm like, hey, I'd like some lemonade. When you go in the kitchen, will you grab me some? I'm very, very clear about what I want, how I want it and when. Right? And for some people that are inferential listeners who listen to things like, hey, I'm thirsty, and then make the decision about what they think I want, I can sound pretty rude or pretty demanding. And vice versa. Because I'm also a um, logical listener, if someone says, hey, I'm thirsty, now granted, I've got a lot of listening skills, and so I'll say, oh, are you thirsty? Especially if they're at my house, right? Or I'll say like, oh yeah, me too thinking they're trying to make conversation. I won't actually think to get up and get them a drink unless I'm super clear and really close with them and I know that's what kind of person they are or unless I'm hosting some kind of party where it's my job to listen that way. Does that make sense? So have you ever said something and someone thought you were rude or someone didn't follow through on what you thought you were communicating? That's why it's so important to understand how your friends, how your family members, how your coworker, and how your partner especially listens and how they speak. So when you've got two people that are inferential together, they could actually be having two totally completely different conversations because we're projecting our stuff all over the other person. So one person says, yeah, I'm thirsty. And the other person might go grab them some, some water when really the other person wants some lemonade. Right? Because we don't ask, because we're just inferring that we know what they want. And if we're very, very direct and we don't get what we want, then we get very upset. Now, clearly, one of the best ways to do is to communicate as directly and as honestly and as straightforward as you can. So how do you go about doing that? Listen, when you start making requests to your partner or to people at work, how many details are you giving them? And when and how do they respond to the details you gave them? For example, there's one person that I talk to often and that I give a lot of detail to and I can see him like, just like, it's like if I give him too much information, he totally cannot process it and zero things happen. So I have to be really careful about when I communicate with him that I only give him one or two steps at a time. Otherwise, nothing's gonna get done. My questions aren't gonna get answered, right? Whereas, other people that communicate as directly as I do, I can say like, hey, will you go in the kitchen and grab me a glass of lemonade? And oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that next week X, Y, Z is happening. And they'll be like, okay, cool. And they'll process all the information, absorb it, remember it, and everything's great. So pay attention. How do you speak? How clearly are you speaking? And is the person that's listening to you able to absorb the information in the way that you need them to? And vice versa, when they speak, if you're not getting the amount of information you need, that's a great time to clarify because maybe they're an inferential speaker and you are a direct learner and you need more information in order to actually 
do what it is that your partner or that your coworker or that your good friend wants. So imagine now really understanding that love of communication because now you can't just get frustrated at them for being like, well, you didn't tell me. It's actually how their brain works. And isn't it great how our brains all work differently? So communicating clearly, of course, is a skill. It's always a skill. But understanding that there's a baseline that people run from that come from inside of themselves and how they've learned to use their words can be empowering both for you and for them and shift the whole way you interact with them in relationship. So once again, your action steps, know how you communicate, understand how others communicate, make a clear choice to communicate in the ways that people can hear you instead of creating confusion in your own mind and in confusion in other people's mind. Because honestly, it's your job to communicate clearly. It is not their job to listen clearly. I know, right? I hate to break it to you that way, but if you wanna shift relationships, it's your responsibility, nobody else's. Only you can shift you. You can't shift everybody else. Just like it's not the sun's job to grow a seed. Because if the seed's just lying on top of the soil, the sun can't change anything. It can't do anything. And the same with you with others, right? The seed has to put itself in the soil at the right depth. It has to have the right amount of water. So you trying to change other people's communication isn't gonna work. So change your own, empower yourself. You can tell them what you've learned. You can encourage them to communicate differently, but really it's your responsibility. So hopefully know that you're loved, you're loving, you're lovable, and you get to do this for yourself and everybody else around you, because you know what? It's going to make your life easier. And isn't that the goal? Don't we all just want to have our lives be easier? Comment below. I want my life to be easier. And one way to be easier is clear communication. That's honest, straightforward, and easy. So, I hope you've gotten a little bit out of this. I'd love to have you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.